Gamers, welcome back. Today I got here the Can-Am Maverick Sport and I'm gonna be installing the 32 inch light bar. So let's get to it. For this one, I'm gonna be using the mounts that come with the light bar. I'm gonna put a carriage bolt up and out with a spacer on top. I'll then have to insert these nuts into the channel in the light bar. And then I'll use this plate and these four mil Allen key bolts to secure the mounts to the light bar. Here's the little notch where you drop your nuts in to the rail. And here you can see how I have my mount set up with the four mil Allen key bolts, the little plate and the mounts. After a little bit of searching around the shop, I found myself some nice big washers and I'm gonna replace these plastic spacers with a nice heavy washer. I'll also put a washer on the other side once I get it mounted on the machine. There are not many options for mounting this light bar to the machine. So I'm gonna go up through these triangular holes here, hence why I put in the big heavy washers. Now I can mount the light bar to the machine. Here you can see how I got it mounted. There's a big thick washer on the bottom, a big thick washer on top, a lock washer, and a nut, and I've gone ahead and tightened them both up. Before I tighten up the four mil hex key bolts on the inside, I'm gonna take my measuring tape and just make sure the light bar is centered on the machine. Once I have the light bar centered and level, I'm gonna tighten up the four mil hex key bolts. And just like that, our light bar is mounted nice and sturdy. Now I can start on the wiring. To route the wiring, the first thing I'm gonna do is pop off our window here. Now I'm gonna remove these two Torx 25 screws going in from the side to take off this little plastic cover so that I can run the wiring up from the bottom. As you can see, I only needed to pull back this plastic cover a little ways, and this will give me more than enough room to sneak my wire up right there. From the driver's side of the vehicle, you'll see there's a rubber boot going through the firewall right there. I'm gonna cut the zip tie on that rubber boot, stick my wire through there, and then I'm gonna follow the frame up and out that hole that we just exposed.
I've had the power wires going to the light bar from the inside, through the hole in the firewall, through the rubber boot. And then we come out here, go around the other wires, follow the frame up and out the hole in the top. The next thing we need to do is connect the harness to power. As you can see, the key is right here. Right underneath the key is the power bar. This is the negative terminal. This is a hot power terminal. And the third one over is a keyed power. We're gonna connect it to the keyed power and to the negative terminal. Once again, I have the negative cable hooked up to the negative terminal. And I have the positive hooked up to the keyed power. Okay, the last thing I have to do is mount the switch. It comes with this round switch here, and you can cut a hole somewhere in your dash and mount this switch if you'd like. But as you can see, BRP comes with all these cutouts here for rectangular switches. So today, I will be using this one. For this one, I'm gonna mount the switch right here. So just reach in from the back and push the cap out and then grab it. Now feed your wires through. As you can see, I had to replace the connectors that were on there with these three mil spade connectors. Now I can attach the switch. As you can see, the switch lights up when it is on and turns off when it is off. On the bottom, I have blue in the middle with white and black on top. Now I can just push the switch into the dash. The connector that came on the wire harness did not match the connector on the light bar itself. So I had to cut it off and use some buck connectors to attach the connector that came with the light bar. Before you tie up all the wires, just make sure it works. Works great. All right, now the last thing I need to do is take a handful of zip ties and go around and tie up all that loose wiring. Okay, I did go ahead and stick a plastic screw up through the relay, securing it to the dash. And then I got lots of zip ties securing the wiring to the frame. Very nice and clean, nothing hanging down except the fuse there so that it can be accessed if you need it. Also make sure you stick a new zip tie on the rubber boot going through your firewall and a zip tie on the frame. Plenty of zip ties on the wire going up to the light bar. The last thing I need to do is reattach my plastic panel here, put the window back on and then we're good to go. Okay, I turned off all the lights in the shop. Let's see if we can check out this light bar. See how good it really is. Here's the standard lights. High beams. And let's hit the light bar. Boom. Yeah, that makes a difference. Lighting up the whole damn building with that thing. And just like that, this install is all done. Make sure you hit that subscribe button or click up here to check out the next video. This has been my light bar install on the Can-Am Maverick Sport. Ride safe.